Hello everyone, let's continue our session on SQL Server I.O. system. In this part, I will focus on troubleshooting I.O. issues in SQL Server specifically. In part 1, we discussed that SQL Server uses following architecture for I.O. operations. There are several drivers and also can be filtered driver until SQL Server I.O. request reaches to hardware. The slowness might happen among these drivers. Also, the issue might not be related to drivers, but to hardware disk performance itself. If you face slowness in SQL Server due to I.O. system, as a DBA, how do we investigate this issue? How do we know which part of architecture is causing the performance issue? In the first step, when we face low performance in SQL Server, we check wait types. If we observe I.O. related wait types such as page I.O. latch, write log, async I.O. completion, we can conclude that SQL Server is slow due to slow I.O. system. In the next step, we collect physical logical disk metrics with performance monitor, which we call Perfmon, right? Logical disk counters are from volume manager level and physical driver metrics are from partition manager level. If we do not observe any issue at volume manager driver level, it means that the issue is between SQL Server and volume manager driver. As you can see, this is highly due to drivers. You should check filter drivers in this case. However, if you find any issue even at this level, it means that we have issue at the bottom. Next step. In this case, we collect store port logs at store port level. If we observe bad metrics even at store port level, it means that the issue is at hardware level and the storage team should investigate the issue. This becomes out of scope for DBA team. Okay? If we observe good figure in store port but bad figure in performance, the issue is between here. This is often due to outdated driver like outdated disk driver. You should update all device drivers and see how it improves. With these steps, we can narrow down the scope and investigation. Let me show you each step with real examples. In this session, I will run several comments and queries. I'm going to share the GitHub for the same so that you can also run by yourself. Please check the description of this video. I have two VMs, VM1 and VM2. VM1 works as a database server and VM2 is an application server. I have te test DB uh, whose transaction log file is located in GDisk. We will generate IO issue with this GDisk. For this, firstly, by using disk CPD package, I will create a load for GDisk. This will significantly decrease available IO throughput for the disk and increase latency for any SQL Server queries. Then I go to application server and by using OS stress package, I will connect to my database server, which is VM1 and continuously run insert query against test DB with simultaneous 20 connections. Okay. Then if we check weights in our server, we can see that many write log weights, which indicate slowness in flashing transaction log to disk. Okay, this is one type of I/O issue. This is also the slowness in I/O subsystem. You can also confirm I/O issue by going to error log of SQL Server. Okay, so then Fizzer, you can run this command to double confirm IO issue. As you can see, we are facing many write log weights also here. Next action will be which disk and data or log file is facing IO latency. 
For this, we run this command in PowerShell. As you can see, we are facing issue with GDisk. And transaction log file of testDB and distributed DB is facing the latency. Distributed DB is also suffering here since we are overloading GDisk. To some, primarily we are facing issue with GDisk. CDisk is also facing issue since this CPD package also adds some load also to, to CDisk when you run it. Okay. Now we understand that we are facing IO latency with GDisk. With this, our first step finished. In the next step, we run Perfmon analysis. You can use either UI, but I always uh, use common prompt since it is very handy. Now in the database machine, I run this command and create Perfmon counter. Logs are saved in C disk. I'm going to collect memory, logical disk, physical disk, processor related logs and time frame is very every two seconds. Then we will start the counter by using this start command. We will run this for around 10 minutes. Before analyzing performance logs, let's discuss what metrics are important for us and what kind of thresholds are there. The first metric to check is speed related metrics. For this, we check average disk transfer read and write per second for both logical and physical disk. If we face figure more than 0.02 second constantly in this matrix, we can find that IO system is slow. But please do not rush to come to conclusion here. We should also check how much data in megabyte is being handled by our system. For this, we check disk by bytes per second metric. This measures how many bytes disk is handling per second currently. If we load our system more than our system can handle, I mean, if we load system more than our throughput, for example, it impacts the speed metric, okay, and significantly decreases the speed leading to latency. Therefore, we should come to conclusion based on both speed metrics and also load metrics. Threshold here is system capacity. The last metric we should also check is how many operations are being done per second. In other words, IOPS we should check. Okay, and also I also check this queue length. By comparing these metrics, we can conclude that there is an issue with IO system or not. Let's see examples. Imagine we have average disk transfer rate is lower than 0.02 while our throughput reached its capacity. Here we can conclude that our system is slow since we reached load capacity. In this case, we should either increase capacity or find root cause why we are reaching capacity. Second example is where we are not reaching capacity, but our system is slow based on average disk transfer metric. This means that our system is slow and we should investigate further in, in the bottom components, I mean hardware level even. Last example is where we are within the capacity and average disk transfer is lower than the threshold. In this case, we can conclude that we do not have any IO system issue. If we are facing I.O. related weights, in this case in SQL Server, we should check filtered drivers. Let's investigate now the collected perfmon logs. I can see that the logs exist in perf logs folder. We double click on this. Then we remove counters and select the ones we need. Firstly, we select logical and physical disk read, write and transfer. As you can see, all the metrics are showing on average 52 seconds latency, which is very huge. As I told you, this, this should not be more than 2 milliseconds in normal environment. This means possibly our system is slow. But we do not rush to conclusion. Let's also see how much data we are processing. For this, we check disk bytes per second. We can see that 
we are processing around 4 megabyte per second. Hmm, this seems normal to me, according to my configuration. Finally, let's check IOPS also. For, for this, I check disk transfers per second. Oh, this seems a problem. I can see that IO system is processing on average 554 operations per second. Let me check also these Q lengths. As you can see, on average, I'm having 111 operations on the queue. This, in, this indicates I have many operations happening, okay? These operations are small megabyte operations since average bytes uh, per second was only four megabyte in my case, right? So therefore, we can say that the size is small, but there are many operations are going. I'm using Azure disk. Let me check my capacity. For this, I will go to size configuration of my disk and you can see that my IOPS limit is 500. Okay, bingo. This is the issue, which means that I have reached IOPS limit. I have many operations with small size, more than 500. This is impacting the IO system speed. My IO is not catching up. To resolve this issue, I should increase disk capacity or find out root cause why i have many operations of course in my case i have used disk spd package as you might remember right disk spd is creating a lot of io operations with small size which is significantly increasing io latency okay in this way we can we can compare the matrix and resolve issue this is not often case uh, imagine we have such kind of metrics as, as we already discussed, like average disk uh, second transfer is more than two milliseconds, but we are within the limits. In this case, what we should do? In this case, we will switch to step three, where we collect store port traces. To run trace, we run following command in command prompt. After initiating the command, we should wait around 10 minutes for the collection. After 10 minutes, you can stop collection with following stop command. Okay. After the log collection finishes, we will have ETL file generated in the destination folder. We cannot directly read this file. By using xperf, we will convert this to a CSV file. Afterwards, in the destination folder, CSV file is generated. Okay, when you open CSV file, it is very, very pretty much difficult to understand. Therefore, we filter the file by choosing only store port windows info. Okay, then we can check duration, which is around 100 nanosecond. If we pay attention to the column name, if we re remove last four digits, we will have milliseconds. Here, we can conclude that 458 millisecond latency if we go down we can see nearly the same number constantly on average this number should not be more than 20 milliseconds in normal environments here it is 458 milliseconds therefore we can conclude that our io system hardware is slow and this should be investigated by hardware engineers our role as dba finishes here okay in my case, as we found, I'm overloading the system, which is causing this issue, right? However, if you are not overloading, but still facing bad figure here, it means you should look at the hardware level. Okay, to summarize, in the first step, we confirm that whether we are facing slow performance due to slow IO system, right? Here, we found IO related weights and concluded that our SQL server is slow due to slow IO. Next, in the second step, we checked several metrics for logical and physical disk performance in perf a performance monitor and found out that our IO system is slow since we reached IOPS limit. 
The issue has been resolved in the second step, but this might not be the case always. Therefore, I also showed step 3 with stopwatch analysis. I hope you found this video useful. Please do not forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you.